Hello. Oh, that's the music. It is. That must mean you're listening to the Listies Make You Lol podcast. I am right now. Yes. But I thought I was recording the well, podcast. You're both listening to and on it, Matt. Well, that is breaking my brain. It's extremely complicated. Thank you very much for downloading and listening to the podcast. It's well, very complicated. What have we got this week, Matt? Just looking around the room, we've got a table, we've got um, a lamp. Uh, we've got um, this uh, plastic foot. Oh, is that what that is? Um, we've got heaps of things, Rich. Uh, Matt, uh, no, I How mean... How do I get them out to the podcast I, land? Do I, I just, like, everybody get your ears ready because I'm going to pass in a nana. Seriously, you can't have bananas on podcasts. They haven't worked it out yet. Haven't they? No. Uh, Come on, Jeff Bezos. I know. But listen, uh, this week on the this week on the podcast... This month on the podcast? Today on the podcast. Last year on the podcast. We're going to edit this out, right? Are we? Good. What's yeah. editing? Anyway, uh... We are going to present to you a new sketch. Oh, yes. That's right. Okay, here it is. It's a beautiful piece of paper with a sketch on it. That's... So, uh, uh. Here we go. Just getting it for you. Matt, I'm... No, so not that. As you can see, the what dugong is, is riding a skateboard. Is that what that is? But it's wearing a helmet for safety. Wow, really? It looks yeah. like someone tried to steal a dolphin from SeaWorld with a skateboard. Can we do a true crime podcast that's all about animal thefts? Uh, we can, but it's not this one. This ep this episode is all about... One day I came home to the house... Yes. ...and you were there with a sheep called Paul. Do you remember? Uh, oh, I do. I remember that. Yes. And uh, it went a little bit like this. Magical music. Magical music. Magical music. Uh, I don't have any magical music. I just have this noise of um, somebody sneezing. OK. And will then, that do? And then it will go straight into the sketch? I think so. It'll be like the sketch came out of their nose. Okay, sure. Into their ears. <laughs> ah, there's nothing like the feeling of opening the door and knowing when you step inside the whole house is clean and... Matt! What happened to the house? It looks like a, a toilet at a music festival. Uh, uh, sorry, Rich. I was just catching up with a friend. This is my friend, Sheep Paul. Why is there a sheep in here? Oh, he's put dirty everywhere. Uh, I know, I know, Rich, but we were just about to tidy everything up, but now he's refusing to help. What? Why? Well, he says that he's anti-vac. Anti-vac? Yeah, he doesn't believe in vacuuming. Well, that's ridiculous. He says it's not ridiculous. What? He says that he wants to see evidence that vacuuming is effective. Well, I, I would think that the benefits of vacuuming are pretty clear. He says that's your opinion. But he disagrees. <coughs> ah, sorry, he respectfully disagrees. I can't believe I'm arguing with a sheep. <coughs> he says he's seen evidence. What? What kind of evidence would there be that vacuuming is not effective in cleaning up mess? <coughs> a double-blind study. What? By who? <coughs> Two of the three blind mice. What three blind mice? The ones that got their tails cut off by the farmer's wife. What is happening here? <coughs> he says that we should be putting our faith in the benefits of the floor's own natural response. The floor's response to the dirt? <coughs> he says that if you expose it to dirt... Over time, the floor will eventually become immune to the dirt and become resistant to it. Then you won't ever have to vacuum again, which sounds pretty great. That's ridiculous! <laughs> he says he's entitled to his own beliefs. Huh? He says that your pro-vac stance is violating his human right. He's not a human! He's a sheep! Well, his sheep rights then. <laughs> he says that you're free to vacuum if you wish, but he is choosing not to. But what good would that do? I'd vacuum, then he'd continue to wander around, leaving dirty footprints everywhere, and in the end, the house would still get covered in dirt. He says that's your problem. No, it isn't. It's everyone's problem. We all live in the house. We should all be aiming to keep it tidy and clean. That way we can all live in a nice, tidy house all together. He says no. He says that vacuuming causes you to become magnetic. What? And that he had a friend whose wall became magnetic, and then he read on the internet that... Ah! Hey, Rich. What? Uh, uh, yeah? What? Wake up. What? What? You must have fallen asleep during the movie. Oh, Matt. I had the most frustrating dream. I dreamt that you and I were in the house Oh, and... hang on, Rich. Hang on. You know who loves to hear about people's dreams? Paul. Wake up, Sheep Paul. Wake up, Sheep Paul. Wake up, Sheep Paul. <laughs> <coughs> That's Sheep Paul. Oh, I'm so glad you're not friends with him anymore. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sheep Paul, he's my most controversial friend. He's woolly, woolly annoying. Oh, he's bad. I wish you didn't like him. <laughs> he's a sh sheep. 
When he comes around, I got one more. Okay. When he comes around, I go, Marine. Oh no! <laughs> no. Yeah. Uh, the sheer. It makes me want to jump her out the door. I was going to go something for like sheer. The sheer fun of these puns is making me. Oh, sheer. Yeah, get it? Yeah. Good. Worth uh, that. Um, yeah. Okay. If you'd like to see more of us, like if you'd like to see our faces, our real life faces in real life. Yeah, with our real life voices coming out of those faces. Uh, you can come and see our shows throughout the year. Yes. Which are Melbourne Comedy Festival, um, Monkey Bar Theatre. Monkey Bar Theatre. And then we're touring all around the world. You can go to join our mailing list, which um, the best way to find it is to just ask a pigeon because it's all done by a carrier pigeon. <laughs> Get that pigeon out of the Sorry. studio. Get out. Sorry, pigeon. Oh, thank goodness for that. But, uh, no, the best way to no, find out about where we're touring is to go to our website, www.thelisties.com. Oh, there's poo everywhere. And if you want to keep in contact with us, you can join our mailing listy right there. If you've enjoyed this pod, be quiet. I'm doing the outro. If you've enjoyed this podcast, returning a mop. There's a lot of pigeon poo. Oh, it's called guano. Uh, if you have enjoyed this podcast, um, or if you have any complaints, oh, please feel guano. free to review us, uh, and it does help us apparently. Guano, no. So uh, whatever platform you're on, Rich, I need some spray and wipe. Come and help me. Oh, that's going to take more than spray and wipe. You're going to need a chisel. Ugh. Guano. Guano.